Hey everyone, how are we doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. <laughs> it's time for some Greg Thick. Are you guys ready? Hey everyone, good to see you all here. Good, good, good. Wow, there's so many of you here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to show you guys something before we start. Check this out. Look how awesome that is. And <laughs> it's cool, right? <laughs> All right, let's get into things here. I'm in game right now. Uh, we got a switch. All right, so we are in, uh, well, somewhere you've not seen before. You're going to see this in the next episode. We're currently about halfway through. Uh, but let me explain the plan for today. Uh, some things that have went on. So, as you can see behind me, uh, we're in a farming era here. Yeah, some minor spoilers here, but uh, <laughs> there, there's a lot to do. And you might spot a little crop in the back there as well, which I just got moments ago. <laughs> I will explain it all, but um, yeah, today is going to be a stress test of our ore processing system, and we're also going to do some crop breeding. The return of Breeks, not yet, not yet. We still have to craft that guy, but um, it may or may not be something we do. Uh, may not be something we do today. However, let's uh, yeah, let's get the ore processing system going. We're also going to be uh, tweaking that as we need to. I'm going to keep all these seeds in a chest. Do we have a new dragon egg? No, this is not a dragon egg. This is a creeper egg. You know the ones we got on Mars? Oh yeah, and of course we did up we did update the pack. So we are on we are now on 2.3. Uh let's fix things up here. We'll come back and do a little bit of crops later on. Where's my pickaxe went? There it is. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Weren't you unable to move the creeper eggs? It turns out you just have to drop a torch on them. I didn't realize it was uh, the same as the vanilla dragon egg. But uh, yeah. First stream you're able to catch? Welcome, Jasmine. Which Java version? I'm on 19.0.2. I don't know if it says. Yeah, top, le top right. Three likes this song a little too much. Yeah, <laughs> it was just the next one in the playlist. I don't know why. We've got like 240 in this playlist. Okay, let's go down to ore processing, see how that's been doing. I did load it up uh, not too long ago. Let's see if it's finished. Has GTNH made me crazy? It did, but um, I'm ca okay, that's, that's empty. That is a good sign. It has in the past, yeah, I'll admit, GTN has made me a little bit crazy, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's just keep keep filling this chest. We, we have to get all of these chests today empty. And there's quite a lot to get through, so this is going to be a real test of our system here. That one ain't too bad. I did empty a few between the episodes, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to get processed here. So these machines have got some work to do. That is for sure. <laughs> Have you gone on longer than you thought you would in this playthrough? Oh, no, 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 no. Am I slower than what I thought I would be for this point in the game? Definitely. But uh, longer? 
No. Yeah, let's just load this up and see where see where it goes. Any overflow will be sent here. And I did, uh, since last episode, add this pipe in here. So this takes from the overflow chest anything that's not been filtered or has nowhere to go, i.e. the input buses are full. Uh, this pipe here has a conveyor or robot arm, and it slowly trickles it back into the black network, the, the MA interface at the bottom. And that will insert it effectively like it's putting it back in here in this chest. Have your plans changed with the series? In what sense? I mean, yeah, plans change all the time, but uh, overall plans, not really. No, they haven't changed. And let's also try to do all of the same things at once as well. You're still having fun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you'd stop at tier 8. No, we're stopping at tier 7. Just tuned in, how far is the ore processing? I mean, it's not broken after the update, so there's, there's that. <laughs> there's that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this thing is full. We also have the new batch mode, which I touched on in the update video. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that. Seems arbitrary. We'll get- hold on. <laughs> The, the uh, batch mode here allows us to do multiple batches at once, which is super awesome. I definitely recommend you guys turn this on your own machines. We also have, now have sound on the processing arrays, which never used to be the case. I want to make sure these are all on. Yeah. Did we update? Yeah, we're on 2.3 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why no Stargate? <laughs> I mean, so we're currently at, what are we at here? 829 hours. If we go from Stargate, or sorry, from Tier 7 Rocket, which we're nowhere near, that is the goal for the series, ever since we started this. From Tier 7 to Stargate, that's going to be like an extra 3,000 hours. Easy. Easy, easy. Stargate is probably five to 6,000 on my own. Easy. And it's going to be like spamming LCR after LCR after LCR after LCR. <laughs> if you think this sort of processing is, is like way overkill, just wait until you try to get Stargate and it's like times everything by 30 or 40 or 50 machines. You'd love to see the recipe. Oh, for Stargate, there's a, there's a full recipe in Discord or on my newest video, actually. You can probably see it there almost 20% of the way there yeah I'm not making any promises right now how many hours on the first playthrough it was 960 I believe on the first playthrough yeah pretty much bang on 960 But yeah, the, the subnet here is filling up quite nicely. I'm liking it. Look at all the resources we have, but it's not connected to the main system. That is something we have to do right now. And in fact, I meant to do it in the previous episode, which is why I left the interface in the storage bus here. Um, but all we should have to do here is... Storage bus on mainnet. Right? Wait, how many channels do we have? The P2P, if I remember right, is like right there. Yeah, so we have eight channels, pretty much. Well, seven channels, because because there's a terminal here, but yeah. Storage bus here. High priority. No, low priority. Wait, do we want high or low priority? Low? 
Low would give us... Low would it be extract first, insert last? Yeah, we, yeah, we want low priority here, yeah. Because we want to keep space for anything that's, that still has to go through our processing, yeah. So we want low priority. Interface here. And now we should have access via our own system to all that nether quartz, all the stone dust. Perfect. High with only extract. Yeah, we definitely want extract only. That that is uh that is for sure. Yeah. Low and only extract. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, perfect. Purified vanadium gallium. I don't think we have that filtered, so we have to go through and add a bunch of filters today as well. So we're washing it. Why are we washing it? I guess to get vanadium. And then we can pulverize, so we add it here. Wait, it's already in there. In the macerator, is it full? If it's full, it goes to overflow. So this should be sent to the macerator now. Yes, perfect. Yeah, I suspect there's going to be a few things we have to still filter. Redstone, I'm, pr I'm guessing, is not one of them. But the thing is... Does anyone know of a way to... Um, go through different slots of the chest? Because the robot arm and the conveyors only pick from the, from the first slot. Or any slot that you define. I don't think there's a way that you can make it cycle. Is there? Say your famous catchphrase. <laughs> Redstone on, machine on. Is that the one? Let's get rid of all this impure, because that should be very easy. The centrifuge is pretty quick. Compared to the macerator. Use a conduit? Yeah, I was thinking that, right? I'm sure the conduit cycles between the, the chest slots. And that way anything that has a filter will go to where it needs to go. I wonder if we have uh, extract speeds. I know I crafted some of those. I guess I used them all. That's okay. Oh yeah, it's taken from over here. That's perfect. Nice. Okay, let's keep emptying these chests. We'll fill it up and then we'll go over to do some crops and things. Look how fast that is, it's awesome. Did I put those in the wrong term? Did I? Well spotted. I still have to get used to that. Yeah, you're right. I totally did. We'll try and get all rid of all this impure. That should all be sent to the centrifuge here. Yes. How unreasonable is the new space space elevator? Well, I can say for sure we're not going to get it anytime soon. Uh, yeah, there's all these different modules. And this is only the machine controller. I mean, look at this. That's tier 7 plating, by the way. So this is what we need to make the tier 7 rocket. The gold for the series. And then you've got all the other... <laughs> all the other casings to go along with it. This is only the tier 1. Look at this. 
That's neutronium. What? UV motors, they're not too bad. This Pico Pico wafer is new, I think. Molten Sonarium, that's expensive, wow. <laughs> yeah, expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> it takes multiple generations to finish GTNH, yeah, no kidding. Ah, wait, we wanted to do all the impure first. I mean, either way, it all has to go through this system anyway. Nether rack dust, that's just going to be sent straight to storage. A lot of this stuff will be quick. It's, it's the maceration step that's the, the bottleneck for us. Where's my accent from? What accent? I don't have an accent. No accent here. <laughs> no, no, I'm from I'm uh, I'm from Scotland. We have way more stuff than I thought, and I haven't placed the miner for like over a week by now. This is crazy. And I thought I'd done a lot of manual processing as well. Lots of this is going to go into overflow, yeah. What's the theory, theoretical maximum time needed to finish GTNH? Oh, that's a that's an impossible question to answer. It depends if you want to do like if you want a lawn base, then it's <laughs> obviously much faster. And if you're in a team as well, I mean that speeds things up a lot. I'm just here alone in this world. I should be doing this chest by chest, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. That's the beauty of this system. We can, it's designed to be uh, as flexible as possible. Dolly the chest. You guys are too smart. <laughs> I'm reading chat here. Yeah, we should dolly the chest. <laughs> Wait, it's a compressed chest. We can just pick it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm doing here. I've played this game before. <laughs> yeah, all this... I wonder if we have enough storage for all this, actually. I mean... Three of the discs have contents in them. Look at this, this is juicy. I like it. Yeah, we could put the compressed chest right here. It would... It would uh, import into the system, but I want to make sure we do uh, all the impures first. Yeah, those discs are going to fill up pretty fast. <laughs> okay, that's going to last for a while. Let's make sure we have no maintenance. Wait. Crushed chromite. Why is that in there? Oh, that's fine. We just... We bypass iron. That's okay. That's fine. No maintenance. Okay, let's do... Let's go do some crops. We'll come back in like 20 minutes or so and come and check on this. It should be chunk loaded though, right? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so... Yeah, we also have this new area here. Nothing super fancy. I was going to put the main entrance here. Um, but I, I guess that's going somewhere else now. Like, I was going to connect it up out over here and put a main entrance to the base, but I guess that's not going to happen anymore. But we now have a portal to the void. And this is where our farming empire is going to be. Farming and potentially bees. I haven't decided yet. But... Yeah, we're basically starting from zero here. So I, um, I want to do a full explanation in the video, which I'm, I do plan on doing. But there's a lot to the crops. If, you're, have you, if you haven't messed with any, any of these things before, there is a lot to the crops. Are we going to move the benzene setup? I don't think so. I think that's going to stay, but it's going to be redesigned with the uh, with multi blocks, to be much more efficient. That is set up wrong. What do you mean it's set up wrong? You want a world accelerator the double crops? Yeah, we do that mostly. That's what this is, actually. I was World Accelerating the Double Crops. I don't want to break this, though, because we don't have Dislocation Focus. And if you break a crop, you don't necessarily get the seed. So, under no circumstances can we break this and we, until we have a spare. And the spare we're going to lock away. So, basically the strategy when you're doing this... Oh, this was the intro to the last video. <laughs> Basically, our strategy is going to be uh, to get stick read, which we now have. I, I got this just before the live stream. You're going to see in the video. And then we have to get a bunch of stats. So as you can see in the tooltip there, we have... Uh, we have... Where is it? Yeah, fourth line. Their stats growth, gain, and resistance. Growth is how fast the, stat the crop will grow. The higher, the better. Gain is how much output you get if you break it. So if we break this with gain 1, we're always going to get 1 or 0 stick read. Or, sorry, sugar cane. And then resistance affects the environmental stats. So it's resistant to things like trampling, which we don't really care about. But also has the... also increases your chance of weeds. So, uh... I think the best stats is going to be 23... or 21 to 23 growth. 31, where is, where is it here? Yeah, around 20, 31, 10. The quest book says 10, but we're going to go for 0 resistance. So we need to breed those stats into all the other, the other crops that we have. I'm waiting on this one, crossbreeding. So, so the way we do that is by crossbreeding. Yeah, the Shadow of X, 21, 31, 0 is what we're aiming for. What is the biome? We're in jungle here. You can pick the biome with this portal here. We're in, we are in jungle. Is zero better than 10 in this case, or is it irrelevant? No, it's definitely relevant. Could we see the TPV coils? I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> it did switch over, by the way. Uh, we do now have TPV coil. We might be able to start a new batch of tungsten, in fact. Yeah, 14 stacks. Let's get all this through the new EBF. You guys ready for this? <laughs> who is a fan? I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. I mean, tungsten steel is miles better than this, but... Uh, Disgusting coils. <laughs> it's bright pink. I mean, you can't miss it, can you? 
hideous. I don't actually think it's that bad. I mean, after being in game for a while, it's really not too bad. Right? You like it? Yeah, see, Xander likes it. Hate it? <laughs> it seems we got a split here, though. I guess we got a split. It's the missing texture color. Yeah, it kind of is, right? We have a missing texture down here in the bottom right from the wrench. Is it the same color? I, I guess it probably is, right? Yeah. Almost. <laughs> Zenith is a fan. It's not as bad as some of the plus plus textures. Come on, little crop. You know you can do it. Crossbreed to another stick breed. Uh, okay. Apparently we kill the wither. It's a, it's a repeatable quest, I guess. That's It was just resetting. You know what we're going to do? We're going to open a loot bag here. We are going to open the IC2 crop bags, which I just got. We need to make a basic scanner for some reason to make it the enchanted one. But, I mean, this is LV stuff. We can do this by now, right? I did have to make a new emitter right before the stream. But, yeah, let's uh, let's get some enchanted loot, ba loot bags. You should have fortune books. Right? <laughs> loot bag gambling. I'm not even sure if this is worth. Like, I have no idea what the loot table is for this. Oh, we have a third one. Uh, let's wait. Let's let's do. Uh, let's do the first two first. Okay, first two enchanted. I see two loot bags. That also just crossbred right there. I seen that in the corner of my. Okay, you guys ready? First two bags. Terrible. Game, Greg. What are you doing? What even? <laughs> That was awful. That was... That was awful. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, we're going to open the other one unenchanted. I'm not wasting another scanner on that. What's the best we get something good from this? Garbage. Terrible. Awful. Okay, what did we get from this? Just a read. That's no good. So, on the crossbreeding, whenever you crossbreed two crops together, if they're different, the chance of them being one of the parents is the highest, but there's also a chance to get a random... Um, a, for it to be a random seed. Which is how we got things like this yellow stone lily, which I'm keeping. And also nether stone lily. We gotta roll again. And then also when you roll, there's a chance for it to mutate the stats. So you can see their growth, gain, and resistance. I think the variance is between 1 and 3, plus or minus, right? I've already done this a lot. In case. <laughs> I've been breathing here quite a bit. I think it's plus or minus three, right? In either direction. For the stats. There it goes again. So, he, oh, oh, nice. That's exactly what we want. We got another stick read here. 904. The four resistance we're going to have to try to breed out of this. But nine growth is good. Zero gain is not great. Okay, so we're going to wait for this to grow. And then we're going to crossbreed it with 
this one and make this the other parent. This one has zero resistance, so hopefully we pass the stats on to the child. And we can get rid of this one. And place this with a crop stick. Right? This one is a garbage seed, we don't need this. And then, since it's directly next to the world accelerator, which is what these blocks here are. So we have one MV, one HV world accelerator. And these things act like time in a ball. Oh wait, it crossbred already. That was very fast. This is only a reed, we don't need this one. We can destroy that, start again. Yeah, so the World Accelerator is basically a time in a bottle, in a block form, which takes six amps of power. So it's very power hungry, which is why we have a Creeper Egg here on top of a Energy Absorber. This has given us 512 EU, which is only HV power. One amp of HV, which goes into an EV battery buffer. And then we transform down to HV, and that powers the MV1, and then straight down to HV to power the HV1. Oh, lots of names. Welcome, welcome. Try to plant the whole field with stick reed. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to get the first few seeds. This was literally our first stick reed. So we have to make sure we can ensure that we get a seed drop. Because we we have no way of gather, guaranteeing a seed will drop from this thing if we break it. So I want to make sure we can crossbreed to this one. We'll break this one, hopefully get the seed. And then we'll start another field here. Yeah, so now we can turn this on. And this takes a crazy amount of power. Yeah, look at this. 8 amps of power. 8 amps of HP to run this world uh, time in a bottle. Hello, Bright. How's my day? It's great. How much is it accelerating? I think there's a setting for it, right? Is it the wrench? Yeah, so we can go up to 8x. And the more you tick accelerate, the more amps it uses. Hello, Nicholas. Nanite Fox, welcome to the stream. What kind of crops is he growing? Is this Gretex version of Mystical Agriculture? Yeah, but it's much uh, less forgiving. Oh, we got one, we got one, we got one. Stick read, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now with the spade, I think it's right click when it's not fully grown, left click if it is fully grown. We should get an extra seed. Yes, perfect. Let's keep this going and start another field of stick reed here. Now this one did have the... You can see up here. This one has six growth, zero gain to resistance. So we lost a growth and we gained two resistance here. That's not great. Will this replace mining? Definitely not, no. It's used for very specific things like, uh... Actually, I have a bunch of them pinned up here. Yellowstone Lily is one of those. Is one of the ones we can... This gives us Endstone Dust, and Endstone Dust we can centrifuge for uh, Tungstate, which is Tungsten and Tungsten Steel. We can get Platinum to feed our plat line, which we haven't built yet, but... <laughs> soon enough. Uh, yeah, and then also Helium. And sand, I guess, for glass. So yeah, Yellowstone Lily is, Lily is super, super uh, useful. We got something else here. What is this? Salt root. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what we want. 
Yes, okay, we have to crossbreed this one now. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I can't believe our luck here. So I don't remember what salt root gives you directly. I think it's these things, right? Salty root. And you can chemically bathe these in water for salt, rock salt, and saltpeter, which of course equals chlorine. And chlorine we use all over the place in chemistry. So this is amazing to have. If we fill a whole field of this, that's like infinite chlorine. So we can crossbreed this one now and hopefully get another... Okay, what I'm gonna do is break this. Hope we get a seed. Yes, we do. And then let's crossbreed these two together. We can also turn on this MV World Acceleration. What is Stick Reed used for? Stick Reed will give us sticky resin. Uh, this stuff directly. And this basically is. Well, we can make glue from it. But the main thing is raw rubber dust, which we can turn into rubber. And then rubber we can coat cable with here. Or coat wire in. So the World Accelerator stack? Yes, absolutely. Expensive to run, but yes, they do stack. And we got a weed here. So weed is, weeds is the other thing you have to be extremely careful of with the crops, and is the reason we can't just walk away. Oh, that was fast. 503. Not amazing. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, so the weeds actually spread through the whole field, and I destroyed several fields in Season 1. In fact, let me see if I can find a screenshot. I destroyed a whole... <laughs> I destroyed a whole field in Season 1. I wonder if I still have the screenshot. I'm sure I do. Wait, that's the server file. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> Look at this. All of the crops just destroyed because of one... One little weed somewhere. I was so salty after this happened. <laughs> oh, it grew again, it grew again. 602. It's not bad. replant there's another weed this is what we do not want to see the salty root is max size so this should crossbreed with the reed salty no pun intended pun fully intended though <laughs> of course it was intended Is there a good way to deal with weeds? Yes, that's why we're trying to get the minimum resistance we can. And there's also the crop manager, which we have crafted here. This thing, if you give it weed X, will uh, reduce the chance of weeds. There it is again. But if we have this on when we're crossbreeding, it's going to harvest the parents, and they can only crossbreed if they're stage 2 or above. You can see in the tooltip there, this one is stage 3 of 3. So if we have these things constantly harvesting, they won't ever uh, give us any new seeds. Birch bonsai, that's useless. Do weeds have any use? Uh, not really. I think you can make plant balls, but there's much more efficient ways to make plant balls. So we're pretty much just putting them in a voided drawer. 
Oh, we got another stickery door here. 702, that's not too bad. I'm going to wait on that. No, I'm not. I'm going to gamble. And we, it paid off. Nice. <clears throat> the quest book wants a ton of weeds for some reason, does it? We should maybe look at try to get uh we should try to get a few of these quests. I guess we got that from the loot bag. Oh yeah, once uh once sixteen weeds. You know what? We might as well get the quest. We need to make a weeding travel. We can do that. You know what, Nether Stone Lily, we don't really need this, do we? I think this gives us nether rack dust. We don't really have a use for nether rack dust. Nether rack dust. Oh, plumbiscus. Does anyone know what this is? Is it lead? Yeah, it looks like it's lead. We might want to keep that around. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Another salt route. Okay, we have two salt routes now. Nice. How's the battery doing? <laughs> not, not great. That's like half the power used. Yeah, you know what? We're going to keep this around. And it says apparently it can grow. Maybe it caps out at a certain stage, but normally you have to fill blocks underneath. So the other thing about the crops is uh, some of them require, like the yellow stone lily, some of them require a block underneath. So I've went ahead and built this space for us to easily hot swap the blocks under. Like, the Yellowstone Lily requires an endstone underneath. And it took me a while to remember this, and thank you to you guys on Discord. But it, it's uh, four blocks below. On the fourth block is where you put the catalyst block. And then if you have three blocks beneath the crop, you also get environmental stats. So you get, like, free nutrients. So it's definitely worth doing that below your crops. This is going to be difficult to explain in the video. I'm no, I have no idea how to, <laughs> how I'm going to explain all this in the video in a concise and easy to understand way. It will require lead work, I guess, past a certain growth stage, right? So it's only on stage one, and it says can grow. I'm assuming till like stage two or three. Okay, let's go make that weeding trowel. I'm sure we can. A diagram? Yeah, mate. I'm gonna have to visualize it somehow. But the thing is, there's so many numbers to... So many different factors. I don't know how to explain it properly. Quest? We'll go for the loot bag. I mean, not terrible. It's not awful. Make a piston swappable block exchanger. That sounds like fun, but <laughs> totally unnecessary. The idea is you have the, the crops in place and you keep them in that spot. And then you just use the crop manager to farm them once you get all of the stats on them. 
Yeah, two stacks of fertilizer is not too bad. I'm going to put that in there. So the fertilizer can also feed the crops, which gives you extra bonuses. So underneath environment, on top of the stats of the crop themselves, there's also nutrients, humidity, and air quality. <laughs> which is mostly affected by the biome that you're in, which is why it's important that we pick jungle. It's also affected by the blocks above, so if you if you cover these crops, they're going to have less air quality. The humidity, I believe, is affected by the biome. And the nutrients, you can get nutrients by giving them water, which the crop manager can do automatically, and fertilizer. So <laughs> there is a lot to uh, take into account when you do this. Yeah, we should check ore processing. I want to make sure we don't have weeds here, though. This one is the only one that can... Okay, let's go do a quick check. What do we want to get from crops? We want to get a source of oxygen, a source of... Chlorine. What else? All the basics, things like dye and thing. Yeah, things like dye. Uh, we want to wash amber, I think. Yeah, I want to wash amber. In the simple washer. Wait, what does amber dust give us? We can autoclave, but we're not going to do that. Carbon and hydrogen. Hydrogen. You know what? We might as well ore wash. We're gonna ore wash and then sift. We need to wait for the purified one to come through. There it is. Uverovite. I'm sure this is chrome. Yes, it's chrome. So we need to simple wash this one. Fluorine as well, yes, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you guys are right. Blackstone Lily is another one we want. Did the first one get cleared? I, th I think so, right? I put it in here. So Uverovite, we want a simple wash to avoid yellow garnet. And then Macerate Centrifuge. Wait, hold on. What's the thermal centrifuge time? 25 seconds compared to 20? Now we get purified. Then we want to pulverize this one. I'm starting to get to know this system, which is good. I know where all the filters are now. Crushed lead, I'm not sure if we filtered that. What does yellow garnet do? Pretty much nothing. It's... <laughs> if I remember right, we may want to just double check just to make sure. I mean, I guess you can centrifuge it, right? Is it new? Is this new? I'm not sure. But Uverovite is chrome if we electrolyze. Give us raw silicon. You know what? We're going to change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good call. I should have pinned that. Uverovite. Like that. There we go. Awesome. Crushed lead ore. What do we want to do with lead? Macerate twice. We don't need. We don't need uh, sulfur. This 
is just waiting to be processed. You know what? We can skip the queue or make it faster, putting it directly here. Look at the uses for the best quality yellow garnet. The exquisite, you mean? Oh, this? I'm sure we are... I'm sure we are already sifting that, right? Or we should be. Maybe we don't... We haven't got to it yet. That's air crystals. Worth? Yeah, it's definitely worth. Where is it? We may not have it in the filter already. She light redstone. Garnet sand. Yeah, it's not this. Yeah, I guess we haven't got any, maybe? That's okay, we'll empty this chest. Electrotine, I'm not sure what we're doing with Electrotine, if anything. Oh no, it's going, it's going. I think we're getting Electrum from it. I don't believe diamond dust is worth it though. Here. There are so many chests, yeah, tell me about it. This needs to go today. Besides this one. This one, and we don't need to remove that one. We can put that at the top. That's just cob That's just Mars cobblestone. All this manganese is just gonna be sent to storage. That's okay. Look how rapid that is, it's awesome. You made some serious headway? <laughs> uh, kind of? No, lots of them are emptying out by now, it's, it's good. I'm gonna keep telling myself that anyway. Like, I'm just opening random chests and picking from ra random chests, so... Like this, this doesn't need any process, and this is done. You might want to check how long it takes to centrifuge Electrotine, Electrotine as opposed to the Macerator. Thermal centrifuge is 25 seconds. Pulverizing is 20. This is 47. We're not, wait, we're not doing that one. This is also 20. This is 47. So it's pretty much the same. It's just depending on what you want. Do we want the diamond? Should, I, should we have went diamond there? The centrifuge step is 47 seconds, the diamond dust route is 20 seconds on the final step. Did I check the wrong one? Oh yeah, I didn't check the centrifuge. Okay, we're gonna switch it over then, okay. 
Take out Electrotine from the washer. Right? This is going to have nowhere to go now. Do we have any more here? Yes, we do. Could you estimate how far you are percentage-wise into the mod pack? Mm, maybe like 20%? I don't know. A bit less? Yeah, see this doesn't have anywhere to go. So we want a thermal centrifuge now. And it should automatically be sent. Okay, so thermal centrifuge here. needs to be filled manually since we just took out the filler. How does the personal dimension work? So you can only generate the world once and then after that you can only change sky color. So you have to be careful on the first generation when you get it from the quest. Aha, another chest done. We'll put those up top. Let's give it some more ores. We've been giving it a lot of impure. That's going to take forever. <laughs> yep, it's got a queue. It's got a very long queue now. Oh yeah. Things are running, things are running, this is good. Can you also change day to night? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can even disable trees and the foliage and weather. It's pretty cool. I think there's day and night time here. We want to keep it permaday though. Okay, back to getting salty here with salt root. Aha, as we suspected, yeah. Yeah, look at this. It's now on size 3 of 4, and it cannot grow anymore. Because we need to get a lead block for it. Which pack would you recommend to get into Greg Tech? Definitely Nomi Factory. Definitely Nomi Factory. If you feel like you can, you can jump straight into great, uh, New Horizons, then it's definitely possible. There's a lot of information in the quest book. Is Breakspot going to return? Perhaps. I was thinking about this at, before the stream. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. It's such a... It's <laughs> the last time I made it, that took me like... Well, that was the week I was really, really... Uh, I got uh, COVID back last year, or was it the year before? No, it started last year. And I was just grinding away on crops. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that again, or if there's ways to mitigate some of the grind. Yeah, so we want to get lead right here. That should make it grow. Right? Yes, can now grow. Perfect. And we'll try to get a seed from that one.
Is this the Breek setup? I don't know. Does anyone know if we've actually unlocked Breeks yet? Like, we're gonna need... We're gonna need the graphics card. I remember this being... Kinda gated. It's HV recipe. EV circuits, we have all this now. Advanced SMD. Ah, oh, you can make it with transistors, okay. Electrum foil we can make. NAND chips we've made before. Soldering alloy. Control units is HV circuits. Control base is easy. Oh boy, 32 of... 32 of these things, well. Wow. Okay, computer case. I know we need one of those. Tier 3. Is this EV? There's one of these that takes uh, EV circuit assembler, I think. I think it's the CPU. Nope, this is LV. Ah. Is it RAM? Is that what it's called? Maybe just easier if we search open computers. Oh, memory. Memory. That makes sense. Yeah, this is the one. Look at this. EV circuit assembler. We have not made an EV circuit assembler yet. Although... Wait, have we made an EV... <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. This is an EV circuit assembler. And apparently a broken recipe. So we might be able to craft this. Hold on, what else do we need here? I know that we need the floppy disk as well. We need EEPROM. Which we should be able to do lots and lots of microchips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just not sure if it's worth it, honestly. It probably is though. Oh, we got a weed. Oh, nice. It gives us... Gives us a choice reward. What do we want here? Well, there's our black stone lily if we want that, which we do. We have yellow stone lily. We don't have goldfish, which might be useful. I'm going to I'm going to hold on to that. I think we're going to pick black stone lily though. But if I remember right, those aren't one of the ones that's super difficult to get, so we might get it here crossbreeding, I'm not sure. But, yeah, guys, do we make the open computers bot or do we not? I'm still very undecided. Hmm. It's going to be a big time investment, but then again, crops is a big time investment anyway. <laughs> so after it's made, it's going to speed our life up quite a bit. Do it. I don't think we can get it all this stream, to be honest with you guys. I don't think we can get it in one stream.
for next episode. I guess. Okay, all you guys want me <laughs> want me to make this thing. Where's my mattock? Here it is. <laughs> You're not following entirely, but do it. Whatever it is, just do it. <laughs> It doesn't even matter if it's going to blow up the world, just do it. Yeah. 82 will do it for you. It's going to be a lot of encoding though, and there's a lot of different circuit numbers which we don't have accounted for yet. You'll see, you'll see. Or broken. Okay, I gotta find the material list for this because there's a very specific set of um, tiers that we need to craft. I think I have it bookmarked here somewhere. And then we have to like download and install the script for it. Okay, if any of you guys are interested, I'll put it in chat. There's a link to the GTNH wiki. This is what we're gonna make. We're gonna be building. Yeah, link is in chat. So, okay, here we are. Bare list of uh, bare minimum components. There's also going to be some phone craft with this as well. So we are going to need a central processing unit tier two. May as well make the tier three just in case. Graphics card tier one. Uh-huh. Redstone card. This looks scary. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of random stuff. Yeah, transvector, dislocator and binder. Yeah, we need one of those. Memory tier 1.5. There's one of these that needs higher than is listed. I remember from last time because I crafted the wrong one. Does anyone remember? And if we build the bot, there's no way to disassemble without potentially losing some of the parts. So if any of you guys remember, I would appreciate. Uh, we need a screen. Tier one. Okay, we need EEPROM, I think it's the Lua BIOS one. It says it needs a tier 3 case for optional parts, is that the one? The screen tier 2. Uh, hard disk drive. Tier 1. Inventory controller. Oh boy. Oh boy. Keyboard. G 
Geolizer. Oh no, this is all scary stuff. Disk drive and an internet card. I'm going to assume it's this. <laughs> you guys wanted me to craft this. <laughs> it's going to take me hours to do this. Probably not even something we get this stream. Like, look at all this. It's, it's so gated. It's unbelievable. Yep, so we need... I don't know if this is a good idea for stream. Look at all this. I might... I mean, it looks doable. I think we've got everything. Still no crop. Maybe do redstone card tier 3. Should we? I'm afraid of crafting the wrong one because, yeah, like I mentioned, you can't really get these components back and you have to craft all of them again, which is something that happened to me last time. So I want to make sure we have minimum tiers because they all have different... They all have different... Um... It's like building a computer, that's exactly what we're doing. We're building a computer to automatically farm for us or automatically crossbreed for us. Do we have an EV disassembler? We don't. Creative test world first to test what components it needs. That might be a big time saver. Should we do that? Hold on. We also need the transvector binder and dislocator. Which of course takes Thomcraft research. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe we should do the research first. Okay, let's do let's do the research first. Okay. Okay. Okay, new plan. Let's do the research first, then we'll go into a creative world and make sure we can build it. Or so we know exactly what we need. Yeah, and then we'll build it maybe. The optional parts you need is tier 3 computer case. Yeah, there's something else other than that though that you need tier 3. And it's not listed on the wiki and I, I wish it was updated. And I think I wrote it, it's maybe pinned in Discord. I, I can't remember. Okay, Transvector is Thomic Tinkerer. Here. Oh boy. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done this. See if we go vacuos. Permutatio. I shouldn't have done that. One of the aspects looks like your YouTube logo. Yeah, the Ordo. Order, regularity, and purity. <laughs> Is that what? I, I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, whenever I do this on camera, I uh, I tend to cut a lot of this out for a good reason. Wait, not this one. Here. Here. Okay, one more. Oh, we could have went pre cantatio. Where's all of the aqua essential? Guess we can go like this. Where's that one we had before? Here? There we go. I thought that was LUV. I Oh my goodness, it's only LV, okay. Okay, we can do that. This is a huge pain, but we can do that. The thing is, there's only six sides to a block. Mm-hmm. Very insightful of you, Dire Wolf. Okay, we should go into a creative world. Oh, hey, look, this thing has grown. I don't want to break it though. Mm. Okay. You know what? Well, what we're going to do is go into the season one creative world. Give me a second. Let me copy over the save because it's still in the old one. Instances, 2.3. Saves. Here we go. Saves here. Oh no. Where is it? I believe it's this one. It's not named properly because it was made on a server, so it's just called World 1. Which is uh, not great. Here. We're gonna get a warning because we're updating. Construct the Stargate winning creative. Oh, this is going to take a while. Instances 2.3. 
Is the Let's Play on 2.3? Yes, it's on 2.3. Where are we? I'm gonna teleport to this waypoint. Oh no. Game. <laughs> Wait faster? Yeah, please, game, wait faster. Here we are. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You guys know this place? I spent many hours here. Many, many, many hours. Oh, the cow is still here. Underneath silicon rubber. Uh huh, the old Steam setup. I remember this. All oh, the memories. My disappearing uh, armor set was here. Plutonium 239, I could do with that. Uh huh. Okay, let's go check out the bot that we've made. So all of those things we just pinned were to make this this guy here, Breeks. And it looks like it might be able to tell us. Can you tell me what you're made of? <laughs> tell me what you're made of, yeah. Yes, please tell me what you're made of. Uh oh. I have I don't remember what how to make this or how to use this guy. Was it like start? No. Uh <laughs> Does anyone know how to get a parts list for this guy? Type help. Usage man topic. No, this is not right. Change breaks configs. It's in the tooltips if you middle click them. No, no, no. Middle click will crash the game. I do remember that much. I'm not going to middle click. Equals components dot list. Dot lit. Type Lua. Aha. This tells us nothing. That's an error. Space? What's space? Are you sure?
threefold dot robot. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Isn't it just called robot? Can't you just use give? No, because it's made up of certain components and like you can fill these guys with different tiers of uh, computer parts and they're all, all going to be different. Equals component dot list. Let me try that one. Perfect. Perfect. How do we scroll up? Just says internet keyboard screen, EEPROM and redstone. You need to print it. How do we print it? Page up. F? Yeah, F. <laughs> to print K or V? Like that? Yeah, I'm not an open computers expert here. Type all of this. 4KV in component list. Aha. It doesn't tell us the, the... Okay, so we got the... We got everything it needs, right? It doesn't... Wait, wait. Let me take a screenshot. It doesn't tell us which tier, though. Like, which redstone card is this? Try metal click on the robot. No, I don't dare. <laughs> That's going to crash the game. Put in zero after component dot list. Break it in survival. That's not a bad idea. Oh, there we go. That's so much easier. Why didn't we do that the first time? Okay, let me take a screenshot. That is exactly what we are lo what we're looking for. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Okay, so now we need a disk drive. Yeah, see, it didn't tell us which one, so I'm assuming tier one.
Cheating? Oh yeah, if it wasn't already obvious, we're not in the Let's Play world here. We're in Season 1. <laughs> we're not just casually going into survival here. <laughs> or, sorry, into creative. Inventory controller upgrade. Screen tier 1. Geolizer. Keyboard. Internet card. Graphics card. Tier 1. Redstone card. This has to be tier 2. EEPROM for the BIOS. And then hard, hard disk drive. Tier 1. Wait, we already have that. So the other disk drive must be the... This one. I'm going to unpin all this. Yeah, I didn't show it in season one. I think I done all this off camera last time. Does anyone remember how to put this together though? Like in which block is it assembled? Assembler? Searching assembler is going to give us a lot of different resin. I think we also need the computer case. That's that's what we want. That's what we want. Okay. Then CPU, internet card, graphics card, redstone card, computer, geolizer, screen, hard disk drive, EEPROM for the load. Wait, we have to load this first. Memory. Yeah, we got it here. Does anyone remember how to use this? I think it's with the open computer's manual. I'm going off memory here from a year ago. Inventory upgrade is missing. Okay, now what? Do we have to power this thing?
ZPM. I think we need a cable in between as well, right? And then ZPM battery. I don't even know which one's the ZPM battery. This one? Progress. Three minutes. Three minutes. Imagine testing this in survival. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine testing this in survival. No thanks. Okay, after this, how do we actually load this? We have to download some program, right? Place your robot on a charger. That's right, we'll also need the charger. Which is over here, we should pin this. Another another item to craft. Oh, of course, of course. This is gonna take me all day tomorrow. <laughs> there is no way we're gonna get this on the stream. There is no way. Yeah, I think we're going to have to uh, download it from the internet, right? From the GitHub link. In-game. So we can load the program into the bot and then start running it to the farm. Did I just metal click the charger? Yeah, of course. We need an open OS. Wait. Open OS. This one. So the operating system, we need to craft this as well. How bad is this? Molten Cobalt, of course. Oh boy. Guys, this is going to take me literally a full day to craft. <laughs> I don't think there's a way to do it on video either. Like, trying to montage all this would be impossible. I mean, look at look at all the stuff here. And it's all different circuit numbers as well, right? So it's not like we can just give it recipes and then let it go. And we need 12 of these. And then cables, redstone, alloy, dust. Like all these tiny little micro crafts. Not to mention the amount of circuits. This is going to be insane. Never remember why I was... Might as well invest in it early, yeah. Yeah, I guess the earlier the better. Okay, we have our bot. Let's put it on this charger. That was a good sound. Okay, I think we're installing the operating system. He is alive. He is alive. Install, yes. Perfection.
The crop bot on the wiki is broken? Don't tell me that. <laughs> In fact, do tell me that right now. I mean, I guess we're about to find out, but it's... Uh... Okay, reboot. Now what? Ah, uh, we have to... It doesn't let you copy-paste. Of course. We're gonna have to type the whole... dash cross breeding slash improve middle click <laughs> I typed it wrong as well like, there's a we're most of the way there we're most of the way there improve underscore auto slash install Dot Lua. Success. Nice. It's got a it's got a full start a period there. Do we need I assume so. It's doing something. <laughs> Get bub. <laughs> okay, now what? Okay, we got an error. I don't want to lose this guy. Yeah, I put it facing the wrong way. And then there's a way that you can play with the configs, right? It's like edit. Yeah, here you can edit the farm size, the storage farm size. So what about this is broken? Someone said this was, this was broken in chat. I mean, I guess we're already this far. We might as well make sure it runs here, right? Oh. Okay, so spade slot is zero. I'm assuming that's here. Some scripts for breeding, like take care of drops and do cleanup.
Is that the order or is it down here? I think it's down there. I think the max farm size is nine here. I guess I left it at six. Okay, does it work? Hey, the mysterious man, welcome to the stream. You posted an up-to-date fork on the Discord, or is that a new pro a new program? Does it need any extra components though? Because we're about to craft this in survival. I can worry about the program later as long as it actually functions, as long as it works. <laughs> it's doing something, yeah, it's doing something. What happens if we break this? Yeah, I've got the items in the wrong slots. Spade bottom right. He's got it in his hand right now. Well, it's doing something. Spade is in the chest, is it? Oh, I guess it dropped it because it's uh Thought it was a seed. What does this do? Okay, so this is supposed to give us extra extra seeds. So when you break IC2 crops, you don't have a guaranteed chance to get the seed drop. And you also don't get any extra either. So you have to crossbreed for extra seeds unless you use UU matter, but that's very expensive. It's also going to remove the weeds automatically from the field. And then any extra seeds that it gets is going to place here for us to collect. And this we transfer over to the main field where we automatically farm. Is the plan anyway assuming this thing works but someone said that, that it doesn't work I want to make sure it does work oh apparently it recognized cactus yeah you matter takes a crazy amount of power to make I mean, we can also get berries for it, so that's that's a plus. I might even have some over here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, I guess we got the Cropmatron to give it water here. So it doesn't automatically harvest them.
It's Transformium. So it works, right? There is a second program here as well, though. Like... Where is it? Try auto stat do clean up. Okay. I'm sure there's a better way to turn it off, but hey. I mean, it's doing something. Hey, Lucas, you just started GTNH because of me. Thanks for the journey. Yeah, good luck on your own journey. <laughs> just take things slow. Did I put a typo in there? Are you sure? Okay, how do we know if this doesn't work? It doesn't seem to be confused at all. I mean, this guy's on a mission here. Right? We just have to plant the ones we want in the middle for it to automatically... It will crash. This seems to be working. I don't think it's broken, right? So this guy's gonna try to automatically get... It's gonna automatically try to get the best stats on the crops. I'm not sure exactly what the cutoff is for the program. You may be able to press Control C. There is some way to turn it off, yeah. Maybe Control X. Doesn't work. I think we have to break it. Control Alt C. Let's try that. I think we're going to head back into the main world, though. This seems to be working, right? I mean... No, that doesn't work either. I'm wearing his way. <laughs> He's like, hey, get out of my way. I have some farms to... Farms to take care of. There's weeds here. You should remove that weed right there. Once he places this crop. Control T. Nope. I think you have to turn it off and break it. 
It should deal with the weeds, yeah. It's gonna it's trying to move all the crops in place though. Deposits the item in this chest. It's yeah, I tried to control Z or C. It doesn't work. Now it's charging on the charger. Because it does take energy to run. And then it's going to hopefully get this weed. As soon as it gets this weed, we're going to switch worlds. You don't know what's happening? It stopped? Oh, I pressed can... Oh. Ah, here. Here is the stats right here. So it's going to try to aim for 21, 24, 31. No. 21, 24, 2, 31, 0. I think is what that means. And we got everything pent here, right? I believe so. Okay, we have got a lot of crafting. I don't know whether to make try to make this on. Yeah, we're. I don't know whether to try to do this on stream or now, right now or not, because it's going to be extremely tedious. Let's keep the ore processing going. Do it on stream? I don't think we're going to finish it on stream, that's for sure. So it'd be a case of starting it and then not finishing it, finishing it until the video. Oh, this one is still almost full. Let's get rid of all this. Okay, another chest empty. Perfect. Oh, that one's still full. How many chests did we clear? I think four. This one's empty. Four and a half. This one's basically empty. Oh yeah, that one's empty. That one's empty. This one's almost empty. And it's empty now. These ones at the top are the most full. Yeah, that's going to take forever. 
Mm, yeah, we still got quite a bit to go here. Oh, this one's almost empty. Wouldn't it be easier to just replace the chest? Yeah, it would be. All of this Mars rock can go in the main system. How full are we looking now? 12,000 coal? Like 18,000 nether quartz? Not bad. Not bad at all, but we, we still have all this backlog. Oh boy. Do I play on a server? Yes, I play on a server. You know what, we can kind of say that we've emptied another chest. There we go. Another one down. Compress some of these a bit. Nice, another one down. And that's going to be plenty for a while. Let's make sure these are still running. Yes. Oh, yeah. Machines are doing their thing. Okay, now we got to decide what we do about the bot. I do actually really want to craft this thing. This looks horrible to craft though. <laughs> this is going to be awful. And so many EV circuits. We need a scanner for it as well. Should add recipes for it. I think you might be right. Although it's not the same circuit number, it like Similarly, there. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, similar, there's a way to. to change what's it, what gets imported. Yeah, going into a buffer chest better than nothing. Yeah, you, you're right, you're right. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Where are we going to place this buffer chest? How many channels do we have here? 27. Yes, we're we're now on 2.3 here.
Okay, we're going to output them all to a buffer chest. So that we can request the microchip. Here. I knew that was going to be an issue. We'll have to put in this specific EV circuit, I guess. Nano processor assembly. And then grab a whole bunch of Electrum. Which we don't have. I know where there's some Electrum. If only there was a bunch of empty compressed chests. Yeah, if only. I kind of wish those existed. Wait, we have the new foil recipe, right? Circuit 10. We can go straight into Electrum Foil. Yes, perfect. I like it. I like it. Mm, let's keep a couple of stacks. Okay, so microchip we should be able to craft now, right? It's gonna have to craft a lot of nano processors. How are we for circuit boards? Not bad, but not great. Well, let's make up some more plastics. When passive circuits? Uh, probably only once we get to system on chips. It's going to be a while. There we go. Automate boards when? Yeah, that's something I want to do soon. Let's go grab some more iron 3. At least that's automated, right? When on demand circuits? We've had on demand circuits for. I mean, that's what we just did. We just, we just automatically crafted circuits. I think we'll need a bit more here. How are we looking for copper? About 2,000. Not bad. And there's still some stuff to get processed. Only a couple of thousand? Yeah, I know. There's too much stuff to do right now. I mean, this uh, this bot program is going to take me probably like eight hours. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> to get it all configured. Okay, so that micro thing is now in this chest. Or the components for it, at least. Right? Circuit 1 EV Assembler, nice.
Uh, the thing is, we need multiple of these microchips. There's one for the internet cards. One for the charger. Okay, hold on. That's one, two. Three. Three. Two more, that's four more HV circuits. just joined what and <laughs> what the actual frog are you seeing here this is uh, open computers which I'm still trying to decide if it is a good idea or not wait this has to no wait you can do it with transistors SMDs This one. Oh, that's right, we only have one CPU. And only five LV circuits now. This is not good. This ain't good. This is exposing our poor infrastructure. Judging stare, yep. Okay, we need some more pattern things. Blank patterns. These ones. 57 is going to be enough. Okay. Arithmetic logic unit, control unit, we still have these. These are also circuit assemblers. We can do this. Circuit 1, that's more HV circuits. Uh huh. Circuit one, circuit one. Thank you, Questbook. Let's keep it all in one. Oh no. Or short nano wafers. Please tell me I have glowstone. That's not ideal. Guys, I hate to say it, but the fun is over. It's pure misery from for me from now on. This is it. <laughs> Until we craft this thing. <laughs>
Fun is no more. Yeah, this is where the Greg. Uh, Circuit boards or wafers? I think so. Fun was never an option, yep. We may have to go and get some more glowstone. Nah, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. What's the computer being used for? It's being used to farm crops. Or that's the plan anyway. We're trying to automate crop breathing. Sixty second recipe. Wait, we only get one? I guess this does cut down, but... We can do lots of other crafting in the meantime. You know what, we should add a recipe for this. I don't think we have one. Let's do 32 more HV circuits. Those other micro ones finished, right? No, it must be in the chest. Gonna skip the queue a bit here. There we go. Use bees for glowstone. Is it is bees faster than crops when it comes to glowstone? Oh, we don't have buttons. And we need a lot of buttons for the keyboard. Fortunately, I did craft a lot of iron springs when I was making the rocket last time. Stone slabs, we should have. We can potentially make extra here for the, the next tier of rocket. Do you think you could have automated stuff more way earlier on? Yes, absolutely. The thing is with the, the massive base project that we have, like, I don't want to just keep sticking things in a corner here, like what we have. So it takes time to design all the rooms. And then we had the issue of power, so we had to do power, then we had no ore processing, which we took care of. Things just take forever.
Yeah, sometimes you have to be... How does it go again? Some, sometimes you have to be inefficient to be efficient. Most of the time, though, I'm just being inefficient to be inefficient. What are we working towards? We're working towards Breaks version 2. Oh, this one is super fast. Okay, let's focus on one thing now that we have the... Oh, microchip tier 2. This one will go in the box since we this is a different circuit number. Let's go from the beginning. Okay, let's make the EEPROM. This should be doable. I believe we only need one of these. And then two of those things should appear here. One of them is circuit three, the other one is circuit one. Oh no. Oh no. Recipes are mixed up. One gold foil. There we go. That made something else as well. Okay, EEPROM, we have the first item. Let's start a chest. EEPROM is done. Memory tier 2. Put a recipe in. It's gonna want two microchips, which should put go to the box. No, it's doing a recipe conflict here. Don't you need to craft the EEPROM with the book that you get? Yes, we do. We need to open computer's manual, we'll get to that. Actually, let's just do that right now. I don't know if I have any glue. Do the recipes get faster if you upgrade the tier? For the most part, yes. Anything above the base recipe gets an increase of speed, yeah. I think we have glue here, right? To 
I'm gonna put that back. Love the Disney Channel music. That's kind of what it's like, right? I don't know what this is. Oh, I forgot to grab that from the machine. Okay, we're gonna have to make another one because of conflicting recipes. Circuit three. Oh, circuit two with the transistors, that's why. The rest should be put here. There we go. This is circuit one. There we go. Second item off the list. Hard, hard disk drive. How difficult is this? Take these off. We have these two as well. Okay, we need the recipe for memory one. That we can do. We need four memory ones. Circuit one. Why don't you do the quest? Is there a quest? There totally is a quest. Oh, look at that. It gives us the manual. And a cup of tea as well. Nice. That's not good. That ain't good. Server's still online though. We good? Game? Server wanted a cup of tea as well, it's mad I didn't, I didn't share. Perhaps. First time catching a stream and it instantly dies. That's not a good way to enter a stream, is it? We should be okay though, I think we're okay. Wait, should be making microchips. Why you no make microchips? Uh, 
There we go. Should spit them out here once it's all done. There is no after GTNH, yeah, right. We can, we can encode this recipe as well for the card base. I remember seeing this somewhere. We get a Bitcoin. Can be reclaimed. Is there any use for this? Oh, nice. We can buy parts with this. That's awesome. And we can buy the floppy disk. I may actually do that. Where? It's the same chapter to buy. Oh, here, here. Okay, we're gonna have to save those. Should we enchant this? It might save us some time. Let's do it. Let's enchant the computer floppies. That was terrible. That was such a bad idea. <laughs> we have to craft a new EEPROM. We're not doing that again. Terrible idea. And I have a feeling these are also mixed, so I'm going to put them back. Circuit one. Is there a way to check possible loot bag loot? Yeah, you have to go in creative though. Which is not something I'm going to do here. Okay, memory tier 2. We should have all the, the parts for this now. Circuit 3 for the microchip. Oh, two. I keep forgetting it's that other SMD recipe. There we go. How do you check the loot bag in the creative world? You just shift right click. That's, uh, I think, all you have to do. Let's go grab that other glowstone. Could be an ender tank. No, the ender tanks are only in the IV bags, as far as I'm aware. Okay, this floppy disk we'll use.
This is circuit one, and that should be another item off the list. Wait. Made the same thing twice. I meant to make four of these. Three, what's your favorite mod? I mean, Applied Energistics is definitely up there. Ender IO, maybe? Greg Tech, maybe? I don't know if you could say that. Oh, I see what the problem is. It was put in. Yeah, that's okay. I think we need an extra cover to fix that. Now we should have the. We should have the items for tier one. Yeah. Circuit one. There we go. You can find the playlist in the description actually. A lot of the a lot of the songs are in there. There's a few miss uh, quite a few missing though. I need to update it again. Okay, this is where we need the disc platter. Molten cobalt, a glass lens. We don't have glass lens. Aluminium foil. Oh, I don't want to do that. Integrated Dynamics? Yeah, I forgot about that. That's a great mod. These have to go through the lathe. And then also Molten Cobalt. Let's get a few ingots of this. We'll do it all. I know we need a computer monitor for this as well. Cyan guy, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Oh boy, this is slow. Okay, this is MV Cobalt Circuit 1 Glass Lens. Thoughts on Mechanism? Oh, Mechanism is a good mod. It's very well put together. I wish that fission reactors didn't lag as much as they do. But other than that, it's a good mod. I like it.
Yes, this is a space song. <laughs> Which one is our assembler? We can start to put this together. Have I ever played a fabric mod pack? I have not. I played with fabric for a day in between series. Uh, I was checking out all of Fabric 6, I believe. That was almost the next series on the channel, a few months ago, before I started NH. And it ran, like, very, very smoothly. That's the one thing I will say about Fabric. Oh, nice, that was another quest. We get another Bitcoin and another two disc platters. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we need an extra. Was it just tier one we need? I guess it is just tier one. Two microchips and aluminium casing. Mm, do we have any aluminium here? Lots. Why did you decide not to play AOF 6? There was a couple of reasons. The main one though was I didn't... I didn't have a direction for it, so I feel like it would just be me like... Messing around with uh... Trying to figure out what to do and then... Like, I just didn't feel like I had the inspiration to start a series on it, if you know what I mean. Wait, that's a mold. We need to solidify. Yes, we are on 2.3 of New Horizons. Would you do a day in the life of threefold? I don't think that would be very interesting, to be honest. That would be the most boring day in the life. <laughs> Trust me. Wait, was this MV? Yeah. We need four microchips as well. We can go and get those. Is your server running Java 19? Yes, we're on 19.0.2. Top right. But as I mentioned in my update video, you don't have to use the server on the same version your client's on. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same. This should work automatically now, right? Yes, perfect. It's only two we need. How did you get into the world of Greg Tech? Um, in the last couple of years, it was due to a, a YouTube series by Jimmy Cow. I don't know if he posts anymore though, unfortunately. He was streaming a uh, few months ago. But yeah, it was his series that um, got me into Greg Tech specifically. But I, I started watching Greg Tech way back in like 2012 or 2013. Whenever all the Minecraft guys uh, used to play the first modded packs. Way, way, way back when. We need to put that stuff back. 
Mind crack, yes. You guys you guys remember mind crack? That was awesome. I have such fond memories of that. Yeah, let's put them back in the ingot form. We shouldn't be left with anything, right? Of course we are. We're left with a sliver. Let's make screws. I don't know if those are actually useful or not, but... Hey. How do you write Jimmy's channel? Like that. If you search that on YouTube, uh, you should find his channel. Okay, so where are we? We made the hard disk, we need the disk drive. Oh boy. Microchip tier 2, do we have those? No, but we can make them. An MV more. Glass lens. You know what, we should make a recipe for this. Okay, LV casing and small copper spring, we can do that. This is circuit number two. No, we made the wrong one. That's the problem with uh, conflicting recipes. What CPU do I have? Tier one? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We, we have the uh, 12700K. Where does it say? Oh, I guess it doesn't say on this. Yeah, 12700k. Time to make an assembler recipe for each circuit number. Eventually we get the precise assembler, which is a multi-block, and we can do one hatch per circuit type. But I don't know what we're going to do uh, before that. Doing all the auto crafting is something we're going to do after, after the crops. Once we have like passive chlorine, passive oxygen, things like that, we're going to handle all of the auto crafting. That's going to be the next big, big project. Like making automatic wires and coating cable, all that stuff. We're going to handle all that. Then we might do bees and magic. Then then we'll progress. Maybe plotline. I don't know. There's so much to do. Okay, inventory controller upgrade. Let's make recipes. Flatline bees and crops, yeah, that's going to take an extremely long time. Those are all huge projects. 
Silver Bolt. We don't have that. Electrum Bolt. Why don't you like the crafting card? It's good feel for TNT. Hey, where's the bolt shape? Yeah, they'll massively uh, destroy your TPS though. And it's just kind of a meme thing at this point <laughs> on the channel. It's just funny. It's funny to hate on crafting cards. Is the ore processing running? Yeah, we'll check on that. Let's get these uh, through here. Speaking of which, what is my TPS? 19.9. So pretty much spot on. Tiny bit of TPS lag, that's all right. We're not doing anything crazy. Oh yeah. That's still quite the backlog. For all of you guys interested though, there is a new level man maintainer. This thing, I didn't talk about it in the update, but this is effectively a crafting card. In block form. Which may or may not be something we take we make use of, I'm not sure. But it's there if you if you want to play with it yourself. Fifty MS is normal. Yeah, there's nothing abnormal about this. Especially with multiple uh, chunks loaded. It's not too bad. Is your whole base loaded? Not quite the whole base, no. Lots of it is, though. Most of it is. You know what? Guys, we may actually get this bot on stream today. I'm not sure about the setup. Oh, we were some short. Wait, was that a uh, solar and alloy I seen? Soldering al alloy. Circuit one. Input buses are some of the most mediocre, mediocre AE2 components. You mean the new ones? The ones, the stalking input buses? Those things are awesome. Music is glitching. I don't know why it does that sometimes on stream. 
I have a feeling it's one of the plugins in OBS. But I can't say for sure. The regular one? Oh, the regular import bus. I thought you meant input bus. Yeah, import bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's best to avoid those ones. Sounds like bitrate. Bitrate on my end seems to be pretty stable. It might have dropped for a second though, I didn't spot it. I'm pretty sure it's OBS. Okay, that's another two items off the list. And just like that, we only have a few more to go. No. Mm, a few more. More than a few, I mean. Screen tier one, we can do this. Please tell me we have computer monitor. We do. Apparently we also have a computer case. Just this, right? And Molten Soldering Alloy again. Again? Oh, nice. Just in time. All right, Andrew. Have a good day. I appreciate you stopping by. This might actually end up being a, a bit of a shorter stream. I should have said that at the beginning. Might be a little bit of a shorter stream today. We'll try to get as much of this crafted as possible, but... We will see, we will see. We may go for an extra hour. From now. Okay, Geolizer. This is the one I was not looking forward to. This is the expensive one. No, wait. The expensive one is this. What's the goal of this? The goal is to make a robot. He hates us, chat? No, I don't hate you guys. Of course not. Of course not. Where's the... Did I use all, all of those flawless emeralds? I don't know where all of those things went. Okay, two sensors. Ender eye lens. Let's make four. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Analyzer. Oh, this is not what you want to see. Microchip tier two. I mean, we have a... Ender 
Ender IO TP anchors. From what I remember, they're they're not so easy to craft. I mean. Let's make some. Let's make some. Anything else? Machine chassis we should have from quest rewards. Let's get these into lenses. There is seconds pair. <laughs> Not so easy to craft, has everything. I wasn't expecting that. That doesn't happen very often in GTNH. I looked at these much earlier, like medium voltage, like many, many episodes back. And I was like, nope, we have to make red steel. But we actually made red steel recently. And we have a decent supply of diamonds, relatively speaking. I have some extra elevators crafted as well, so we might as well. Yeah, you guys are right, it's going to cut down the back and forth. Last stream you were, you were in was bee breeding from Inferno. That was such a good stream, I remember that. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Inferno was a lot of fun. Use the assembler recipe? Wait, for what? For the field generator? Let's craft another half stack. I guess we can. We need 15. The only thing you remember from the Inferno streams was when I used the anvil. That was when I was making that armor, right? That was funny. And this, the, the server crashed. Or the game, the whole game crashed, that's right. It, it, <laughs> I remember that. Oh boy, that was funny. How much is this two ingots pair? Hi, Matt. Love the series, please, please don't cut it short. I'm gonna try, that's why I'm... I'm not promising the, uh, the Stargate or anything beyond Tier 7 until we get there. We will see once we get there. We'll decide what happens once we get there. It's a very, very long road away from there, though. And there's, <laughs> there's a... There's a lot of, uh, what's the word for it? Mental stamina required to get there. Eye of Harmony is the goal? No, no, no. Tier 7 rocket is the goal. Where am I going? I want this. New Horizons was a pack for people who hate, who hate themselves. That's what you'll, you'll hear on Reddit, maybe. But if you know what you're getting yourself into, it's not too bad. It's really not too bad.
Pull a DJ2 and passive everything. That is the plan. It just takes infinitely longer to get there in this pack. Every, not everything is as accessible. What am I looking for? An assembler for the field generator. Hey, Marcos. Okay, HV circuit, ender eye plate. What are we missing? Which circuit number? Well, this is ender eye. Didn't I put... Wait. What happened? Does anyone know what just happened there? Didn't I put Ender Pearl in the cotton machine? Oh, there's no space. Broken game. Broken game. <laughs> this should have a space in it. Completely broken game. There we go, we're in business, we're in business. LV field generators, nice. You know what, we should craft a few more of these than we need. That's the quest. Hmm. Although it is expensive on HV circuits, maybe not. Oh no, we might have had a recipe conflict here. Or I just disabled, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Hey Joe. Hey Seco. Seco? S-Y-C-O? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. You can drag any item in any eye into the travel anchors to give them an icon. I think that was the case previously, if if I understand what you're saying correctly. Oh no, we only have two machine chassis. Oh no way. Okay, where do we put these? On here? On here? Like if we do terminal? Maybe we put an infinity booster? When off, you cannot see this block through other blocks. Handy uh, for use as elevators. Okay, so we got the first travel anchor. Quest gives you an anchor for free. 
Oh, is it really? Oh, nice. Free travel anchor. I'll take it. Where do we want this other one? Here? Let's call this HV. Oh, nice. And it shows you the icon. That's cool. Let's put another one over at the blast furnaces. Like maybe here. That's where the glowstone is. Here. Sweet. Nice. And we have one more as well. Where do we want that? Ore processing? I hope that's in range. That would be cool if that was in range. Like under here. What do we denote as ore processing? Which block do we uh, think me this? Do we mark this as? Diamond ore? Yeah, we could do a diamond. Maceration stack. Stone dust? I kind of like stone dust, but that's... Mm, it might be too grey. Let's see how it looks. Maybe a furnace? That's not bad. Yeah. Okay, that will definitely speed up things. Now, where were we? I think making the geolizer. Yeah, that's right, the scanner thing. Of course, we can't. One of those. One of those, we're missing aluminium. I don't remember if I took it all out, so I'm going to grab some more. Oh my goodness, I don't believe I just done that. Guys, what did I just do? What did I just do like 30 seconds ago? I just... <laughs> I just placed travel anchors and I walked the distance from the terminals to here. That's some hard-coded muscle memory right there. That's gonna... <laughs> That's gonna happen more than a few times. Okay, the second portable scanner, that's funny. I don't believe that just happened. Center. <laughs> SMD transistor and microchip. In the circuit assembler. There we go, nice. They're just for looks, yeah, force of habit. We can make fun of you till you stop doing it, yep. I'm sure you guys will. Okay, we got our analyzer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Two MV sensors, there's two of those. 
Ender Eye Lens. I, I'm sure I made those, right? I think I made the lenses for those. Machine casing. Microchip tier 2. Oh, it's only one. And a plastic circuit board. Yeah, you know what? We're going to put one in the clean room. Uh, I want to put it in the floor, but we'll put it here now. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break the clean room. Not when we're using it right now. Awesome. Okay. Circuit one. Circuit two. This is supposed to be circuit two. I made the wrong thing. Made the wrong thing. And then we have to get the lenses. Oh, look at that. That is glorious. Just being able to teleport. I love it. I mean, it's nothing new. We've been able to do this for years in this game, but... It's new for us, right? Oh. Why you no know craft? This is an assembler recipe. This is an assembler recipe. There we go. Geolizer, nice. We're getting there. We're getting there. I don't know what this is. Polyethylene. Next. Keyboard. We should have the buttons we made earlier. 600 buttons. Uh-huh. And a micro circuit. Let's make a few of these. I nearly done it again. I nearly did it again. Keyboard? That will do. One we'll put back, one we'll put in the chest, another item off the list. Internet card, graphics card, redstone card. The CPU and computer case is what we have left. Oh boy, okay, let's look through all this. Uh, HV circuit, micro circuit, redstone torch. Oh, this is the worst one by far. Okay, arithmetic logic unit. How many of these do we need? That's 12, plus 
That's two more of those. Oh, oh boy. Save the worst for last, why don't you? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We have wafers at least, right? Yes. Wait, when did it get multiple slots? Is this new? When did this happen? We got an extra two slots in the laser engraver. Technically, you don't need the internet card yet. Yeah, you can import it directly, but I would rather just use the internet card. The internet card isn't the worst of this. This is easy. Mm, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Let's not do a whole stack of this, though. Uh, especially since we don't use these all over the place anymore in circuits. Yes, you did, Shadow of X. Thank you, Mantis. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we... We're going to need to collect that glue. I nearly done it again. I'm going to make a few of these since it's annoying. Not have to make them again. String and polyethylene. That's also the wrong... We're making the wrong thing. There we go. What is PLE? PLE is Precision Laser Engraver. Precision Laser Engraver. Ah, uh, uh. I want that glue back. I want that cell back. Oh no, where did that go? Okay, I believe we only need one of these interwebs. And we use this for... Something or other. The internet card, yeah. So we need a microchip tier 3 times 2 times 3. We have 3, perfect. Obsidian plate. We have one. Wait, we have that crafted already. So we need red Illuminar button. We have that. Network card. We need one of these. We need a card base. Let's add a circuit for this uh, network card here as well. 
a circuit a recipe. Tiny pile of redstone alloy dust. Who would have thought we need we would need this? Or cable? Don't forget to scan all the stuff. Yeah, I scanned something earlier and it didn't have, so I'm gonna assume that none of this has... can be scanned. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't think any of the open computer stuff has... is scannable. But thanks for the reminder. We don't need this one anymore. We can recycle this pattern. What was this for? The card base, circuit two. This is regular assembler. There we go. And now it's circuit assembler with the bolt. This is why I done it off camera last time. This is just <laughs> this is so tedious. It's unbelievable. Card base. I don't remember what it was. Circuit one. Okay, we have our network card. We need we need a wireless network card. This is peak GTNH, yeah, no kidding. This okay. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. We need the sensor and emitter. Do we have an emitter? We don't. Please tell me we can craft it, yes. Advanced circuit board. Another microchip tier uh, circuit one, I mean. This is nano crafting, yeah. Okay, then we turn this into the n internet card. Right? This is the one with the button and the cable. No cable. Four items. Four items. Circuit one. Perfection. Perfection. Internet card? Nice, another item off the list. Okay, we still have the graphics card tier one. We're definitely putting a recipe in for that. 100%. Wow, we have everything. Just not the CPU space. Oh, this card base again, it got me. 
This is regular assembler. Circuit two. Okay, what does this want? Circuit one. Oh no. I don't know what it wants me to craft anymore. Is the recipe wrong? Wait, hold on a second. No, it wants it all. It wants it all. Okay. I think the infrastructure build-up you did so far allows you to be a lot more flexible than Season 1. I think in the long run, it will be. But not yet. We're not... We're, uh... I think we're in a good spot, infrastructure-wise. We just don't have enough built yet, and it's just taken a very, very long time. So, we're set up... We're set up in a good spot. But, uh, yeah. It's just about execution now. Circuit one. Like, we have everything chunk aligned. We have cable routing established. I'm happy with the design of the base so far. We just need to do more, is basically where we're at. And like that, we got the graphics card. Now is the redstone card. Which doesn't look too bad, it's a lot of the same stuff. We can definitely do this one. Oh, maybe not. I nearly walked again. I'm loving this new foil recipe though. That's awesome. Yep, exactly, Metis, exactly. Redstone cards. Another one of those card bases. New foil recipe, yep, yep, yep. You can go straight from ingot. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't want to make an iron fence. You can go straight from ingot to, to foil. get fenced. Yeah, the, the game is fencing us in here. You know what I haven't checked in a while is this. No maintenance, that's good. Okay, now redstone card, circuit one. This is one of the last items we need, I think. Redstone card. Let's enable that again. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we only have the CPU and the computer case to go. And the transvector interface thingy. I forgot about that one. Okay, three crafts to go. Four crafts to go. So 
It's only going to be one of these microchips. Right? Just joining, what are we making? Yeah, so for all of you guys who have just joined, we are making a robot from Open Computers. And the robot is going to automatically farm us crops once it's set up. It should automatically take care of weeds, give us uh, extra seeds for us to plant in the, cro in the crop fields, which is the main focus of next episode. But we have a very expensive craft. Circuit 2. That's the one that gets automatically made. Okay. You just have to be patient here. And then here. Wait, we do need another microchip. More advanced circuit board. EV machine. Is it machine hull or machine casing? Machine casing. Aluminium rotor. It was 17 ingots, right? For four rotors? I always forget. I haven't used this in a while. Hey, Sienna. Doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is regular assembler with polyethylene. Nope. The game does not want that. What are we missing? Wrong fluid. There we go. Computer case, perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's go put the solder and alloy back here. And then central processing unit is circuit two and we are done. Nice. Nice, so we have everything here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
We are missing open OS. Circuit one and a laser engraver. We're missing a charger as well. I didn't make one of those. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no way. Oh, game, stop it. Stop it. Oh, the charge pad, energy crystals. We don't have these, do we? Dang it. This is autoclave. Yeah, autoclave. Oh, come on. It needs to be... It needs to be energetic. Currently playing Nomi Factory, do you recommend passiving circuits in the clean room? Or auto crafting? For circuits, just cra craft them on demand and just craft huge batches. But make all the circuit components automatically. Circuit boards and the like. Why am I why am I going back here? Okay, we only need two of these. This stuff we should have. This stuff we should have. Make the staff of traveling. I don't think it's that easy, but I said that about the travel anchors. Ugh. And there's RF, you have to charge this thing. It's like, you get like four uses out of this before you have to charge it. I don't think it's worth it in my opinion. Because that's another thing you have to deal with in your hot bar and there's already a lot here. Come on little auto crit auto cleave, you can do it. Wait, these have to go through Wait a second. No, this is what we need. This is what we need. Good, 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 good. Okay, MFE. Into the charge pad. Into the charge pad. Into the charge pad. Weighted pressure plate. Oh, we used all the iron springs.
has to be long rod, right? Long rod and then you forge hammer or something? I don't know, it's something like that. Which version of Nomi Factory did the 3 play? I played the beta version of CE edition. Just be careful if you're on uh, Curse Forge, because the one it, it will automatically download is the stable release, which is more than a year and a half old. You want to pick the beta version, which you'll find if you scroll down the page. And it should be listed as something like release candidate four or five, I don't know, something like that. What was I crafting again? Did I make the wrong thing? <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is steel. <laughs> Not iron. What material do you recommend electric tools out of? The Shadow of X has put together a very nice spreadsheet, actually linked in the description. You can find all the tool materials on there. Yeah. There should be a, a section for GT tools. Also, this this sign right here is going to stay. This is going to be a, a reminder of the earlier days of the series. We're going to look back on this and say, oh yeah, all the chests that we had here. You need two charge pads. Do I? I totally do. I totally need two charge pads. Thank you. Well, good thing good thing we have two steel springs. This is plat line reminder. Oh, we'll get to that soon. We'll get to that. Platline is something I'm really looking forward to, as uh, backwards as that might sound. So that's going to give me a bit of a... Something to look forward to in the future. But we have a lot of other stuff before, before we can look at that. I don't need this many energy crystals. We only need like four. The rest will be turned into um, Lapatron. I need four of these things. Did you need a significant amount of platinum in HV? Not really in HV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Metis is right there. EV kind of, but IV is where, oh my goodness, yeah. You need like thousands, hundreds of thousands of platinum. Come on, little autoclave. What else are we missing here? I think we're going to be short two HV circuits. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. One more. One more.
No, no, we're going to be... IV is a long way off. I mean, we've unlocked IV, but we're going to be hanging out here in terms of progression for a while. Like, maybe 10 or... Yeah, like, maybe 10 episodes or more. I didn't craft that micro circuit. Uh, was this in the normal assembler? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. It does craft. Nice, we got the charger. Okay, so now what are we missing? Eight, nine, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, we ho we have the OS now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Eighteen, perfect. We have everything. We need transvector. this thing these these two things here is what we need and then we are done oh hey would you look at that the lv field generator did we use our last one of course we did two large steel Large Electrum. And Arcane Stone Blocks. I'm sure we have some of those. Let's also get those Thaumium Screws. For this thing. A Water and Earth and a Fire Shard. Where's the large pipe? Was it two or one? It was two. Where did I put that thing? There it is. Please don't. No, we don't have it. Please tell me we have seed oil in here. That's not good. That's not good. No, this is fruit. Which one is the seeds? Does it? Do any of you guys remember? The good seed oil? Is it peanuts? Walnuts? Walnuts. It's walnuts.
should be enough. There we go, we're in business. Nice. No, wait, that's sealed. Wait, stop. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait a second. It's in the assembler. Oh my goodness, Greg Tech. And we need logs for... Whoa, what just happened there? <laughs> what on earth just happened there? Jump scare, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I have no idea what happened. Let's refill these two. Let's get some uh, rubber rounds. Kind of getting short. What are my PC specs? Uh, i7 12700K, 32 gigs of RAM, and a 3070. I've been getting that question a lot recently. I should maybe pin it in Discord or something like that. Like, abnormally a lot recently. Mm, apparently we can't shift click. Trans vector binder. And Arcane Stone, do we have that? We do. I got the pipes backwards, that's why. There we go. Transvector interface. Oh yeah, I was going to fill the instrumentum. Just wanted to say you love the way the episodes have been going recently. Thank you, thank you. I do try to keep you guys in the loop because I know how difficult it is to follow a, a pack like this, especially if you don't play it, right? And if you guys don't follow, then it's it's no fun for anyone. So you're like, Whoa, what is this bad man even crafting here? Which still happens, and it's gonna happen. Like, it... I definitely don't blame you guys, but uh, yeah, I do try to uh, explain things as e in an easy to understand way and that that being said i have no idea how i'm going to explain <laughs> the crops in the next episode that is something for me to figure out after stream though 
uh, because I do want a good explanation of it that I can uh, link to on my channel. So I want this episode to be that. Yeah, the rest we'll come back for. This lasts a very long time. Okay, and that completes our checklist for today. That is, <laughs> that is, this took, how, lo how long have we been streaming? We've been live four hours, this took what, three? Three hours to craft this? Which is better than my eight hour estimation, but we still had, don't have this set up yet, so uh, yep, there's that. Also, this is a funny song. I want to, I'm going to skip this. Would you recommend GTNH to someone who just finished No Mate? Yes, absolutely. GTNH is like the pinnacle of all mod, mod packs. There's nothing built like it. In terms of its development, like there's nothing as developed as GTNH. So if you can handle the grind, if you can handle some magic mods, which are a lot of fun in this, in this. Nice, that is a lot of nano CPUs. Yeah, if you know what you, if you know you're getting into a long-term project, then definitely try out GTNH. I mean, there's nothing to lose, right? Definitely not for everyone, though. It's definitely not for everyone. That is for sure. But I try to, uh, I try to let you guys enjoy the pack through me. That's the goal. I know a lot of people are in that situation where they can't necessarily play, don't have time to play, don't have the will to play, <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys can enjoy through the series. Just making sure there's no weeds there when we were crafting all that stuff. I think we're going to wrap up the stream here, right about here, though. We'll finish over at ore processing. Perhaps. Ah, oh, that's an issue. Battery has to charge. That's all right. You still need electronic assembly. Yes, good, good point, good point, good point. Please don't be a terrible recipe. I missed. I didn't. I didn't pin this. But yeah, you're right. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not too. B okay, we have one, one more thing to craft. That's still got a ways to go. Oh no. Oh no. Goggle durability makes you nervous. Oh yeah, they can they can't break due to durability. They just need charge. That's it's okay. Don't be worried. Don't be... <laughs> they're perfectly fine. They just need charged. Well spotted though. Well spotted.
There goes the wrench. There goes the wrench. Regular assembly machine polyethylene. There we go. Nice. Nice. Almost done. Just realized travel anchors? Yeah. I know, right? They're I'm I'm taking some time to get used to them though. I've made this trip back and forward several times, walking on foot, forgetting I had them. Now we have everything, right? Right? We're gonna have to build a field for this as well. I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. Yeah. And... Oh, you know what? We're also going to need a lever. I'm just trying to think what else we need for this. Battery buffer. Redstone alloy cable. I'll give it four amps just in case. I'm not sure if the amps matter because it gets converted to EU. Or, sorry, to RF. I'm pretty sure anyway. Okay, looks like we've got some filtering to do here. I'm going to filter this and then that's going to be the end of the stream, I believe. We've already been on a bit longer today than I thought, but uh, yeah. we got to get these chests emptied. What do we want to do with this? I guess pulverize. No, wait, we need a lot of barium for yttrium barium cuprate, right? Yes, and superconductor LUV. Yeah, so we do not want to go the cheap route for this. We want to get the most out of these. So macerate centrifuge. 25 seconds, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 15 seconds, so macerate. That should get rid of all that. Crush tin, what do we want to do with this? Do we want the zirconium? Is it worth to sift this or not? I mean, obviously we don't want to go this way, right? That That's pointless. Zinc, maybe, but there's other ways to get zinc. I think we want to sift this, right? So we can simple wash. And then sift. Yeah. You think worth? I think so as well, yeah. Crushed soda light. I think we also want to sift this, right? So this will be another case of simple wash. 
as a right sword of light, yes. Crushed Ventium. Thomium? Wait a second. As in Thomcraft Thomium? Really? Wait, is this new? Ventium or is this new? I don't remember this recipe existing before. Aha. Uh -huh. So I guess we can ore wash this one. Interesting. Okay, what do we want to do with Jade? Probably sift again. This gives us aluminium, raw silicon. Another case of ore wash. And sift. Crushed Ardite. How many hours were it currently? I showed at the beginning of the stream. Can you guys take a guess? Those of you who weren't here, can you guys guess what we're at? I'll give you a clue. It's over 800. <laughs> what is this for? Manion? Signalium? Yeah, 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 yeah. We want this. I think we want to ore wash. Nah, we'll, we won't bother ore washing this. We'll just macerate. We'll change it if we need to. 869, 864, 920, 828, 888, 1k, 850, 854. You guys are all off. 833. It was closest. Marco was closest, I believe. Or firepower. I don't know when that was sent, so that might have been cheating. <laughs> Was fire on the Really, really, you guys bang on, wow. Crushed opal, what do we do with this? Probably sift again. Uh, we are gonna need capacity cards. Oops. I did not mean to make 21. <laughs> no. That uses 1k storage components. Oh, that was so many circuits to use. I did not want to do that. Oh, well. We can deck this out, this out with everything in capacity cards now. Sift the Ventium. Okay, where are we at here? Are the machines full? I suspect so. Mostly. Okay. You know what, let's just put it all through again. I have a feeling the conduit is slow. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the stuff we don't have space for, or... Roasted nickel, what do we do with the roasted nickel? I'm just gonna pulverize and pulverize again. We're not gonna get a whole ton of this, I don't think. This is like one of those rare ores that we get. Doesn't really matter. Didn't we do purify electrotine? Shouldn't that be thermally centrifuged? Ah, uh, this wait, wait, this was from before, right? Or how did that get in there? I'm, didn't I take it out of the filter at the start of the stream? It's only crushed version, not purified. So wait, this is the thermal centrifuge, right? Thermally centrifuging electrotine, crushed electrotine, gives us this one. This one is automatically sent to the macerator, so it should never be washed. Unless I didn't remove it from this one. You guys see it? I don't think it's in here. It must have been from before, okay. We just got maintenance there. I'm, I'm so glad I caught that. That was like... Didn't I just check that like a few seconds ago and it was clean? I cannot believe we just got our first maintenance there. Like we pretty much watched it happen. That's crazy. Calcite, what do we want to do? Malachite isn't really useful, so I think we go wa uh, macerate centrifuge. Yeah, and this is all going to take some time to get through. Rock salt is another sift. We're going to ore wash this. Yep, it's going to take some time to get through all this. I didn't. We didn't get as much process as I thought we would, but I mean, that's okay. I'll make sure to do this before the the next episode. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Our machines are gonna be busy. Let's load these up and I think we'll call it a stream right here. We got the bot crafted, so I'll, I'll um We'll make sure we set that up on the next episode. Let's just toss it all in. It's gonna get filtered out eventually. Yep, it's been uh, four and a half hours. I think we're going to call the stream right here. Thank you guys for watching, hanging out today. It was a long grind with that. Uh... We can start this again. Yeah. Yep. Thank you guys for hanging out on such short notice. I'm excited to get into the crops and all the the bot and the automation. Things are moving along slowly, but you know. 
<laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Anyways, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the animation. The uh, the sweet animation by made by... Actually, let me get the name. Let me get you the name. Made by Ruba. Made by Ruba. Check this out. If you were if you weren't here at the beginning, look how awesome this is. This little guy. <laughs> Anyways, take care, everyone. Bye for now.